Hello everybody and welcome to A Place of Grace, Our Daily Lives. Today we are shooting from Royal Hills Lodge and Spa in Unity Toyando. Guys, they are our first sponsor. We literally have a sponsor. Can we be taken serious? Well, today I invited a bishop, a doctor, Dr. T.S. Morigwe, to talk about blended families. Because already, guys, starting a family is difficult. A blended one, extra difficult. Dr. Morigwe, welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to have you here, having you with such a busy schedule. It's a big deal. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Though, <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, starting a family is difficult on its own. A blended one is an extra bomb. What are the kind of conversations uh, one should have with their new partner, whether male or female, uh, when they're starting a new family and they already have a child? Um, thank you uh, for that question. Uh, let me say that, um, unfortunately, marriage uh, was instituted by God, and therefore God has got the last say if we are Christians in our marital affairs. Mm. So originally God had intended that the marriage between husband and wife should last for life. Mm. That's why on the wedding day, you know, the official would say, will you be married, you stay together until the do you part, mm. you know, and people would say yes. Now, obviously, they, they, they don't know about the storms on the way and yeah. so on. So when the storms hit, sometimes the marriage breaks. Sometimes you find it's not the couple itself that has broken the marriage. It's circumstances around the marriage and so on. There are mm. many things that happen in marriage. Um, but then, indeed, you, you, when you're getting married, already one of you or both of you having kids, you better have a very good knowledgeable counselor. Because this, this thing, you know, of having kids before, before marriage or marriage breaks and then you go to start a new relationship mm -hmm. with kids. It's like you said, it's a bomb. It's a <laughs> bomb that yeah. when it explodes, mm -hmm. something will be killed, something will be crippled, mm -hmm. and all kinds of things will happen. So you, I would suggest that the best thing is to get a very, very good um, counselor mm -hmm. so that you, they would explain to you the challenges and the storms that will be on the way. Mm. And then you make an informed decision mm. as to whether you go ahead with the relationship or not. Because sometimes people would think to, to, to be single is a very difficult thing. But I did the easiest it, part of it. <laughs> it is. It has got its own challenges. Yes. But also yeah. to be married is another super <laughs> difficult thing. Because here Tell you are you having it. two histories, you're trying to match mm. them to make one history. That's not just an easy thing. Mm. And then, as much as kids are good, but when my my new partner's kids or my own kids don't like my new partner, should I conversate with them? Should I conversate with them? What are the kind of conversations we should be having? Look, um, the Bible would say that kids are a blessing to a family. But equally, as you said, if something goes wrong in their parents' family or mm. parents' marriage, and now they've got to separate with the biological parents. All kinds of things happen. Now, you will find that, for instance, if you have a kid and you're getting a relationship with somebody else, mm. now, you two adults, you love each other, mm. you, you feel it's okay, let's go ahead. Mm. But you must remember that the kid, it's not part of this of you two. Mm. The kid has got his own world. Mm. And every kid under normal circumstances wants mom and dad together. Mm. Their biological mom and dad, they want them together. And that's why God said, no, look, guys, I hate it before. Don't go for it. Mm. But then things have changed. Uh, there are things that cause a lot of divorces in our modern world. Mm. So the kids, unfortunately, become victims of this, the, the divorce that has happened between mom and dad. Mm. As I said, mom and dad may not be responsible for it, yes. but the company may have attacked the marriage and they didn't know how to solve it and they thought the, the best thing is to divorce. Mm. But then the kids cannot divorce mom and dad. Yeah. And now when they can't divorce mom and dad, then it becomes a problem because the new spouse of mom or the new spouse of dad to the kid is a stranger. Mm. Now. You, you never feel comfortable, you know, when you get a stranger. No, Marwa Fundi, why are you? I think it must be dealt with. Because I'm thinking, kids, we are forever meeting new people. They meet teachers, they meet... 
how do we deal with that little girl? Or That's little what boy? I'm saying. That I was telling them that, look, remember, mom mm. and dad love each other. Mm. But the kid, whether they belong to bed or mom, mm. this new spouse is a stranger. Mm. Now, they don't feel comfortable. That's why, even if you love them, you try to do your mm. best, you try to be mommy-like, you try to mm. be daddy-like. So they keep you still a stranger, yeah. trying to act like my dad. Like my and listen, you're a stranger. You better, better understand that. Now, because of you are a stranger, I, I cannot keep you close to my to my heart. I cannot get you too close to me. Mm. Because I'm not sure of what you are and who you are and what you are. Now, the best advice I would give is that the best person to, 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 to talk to the kid if they're doing some funny stuff the best thing would be the biological parent mm. would be the best person because especially if the relationship is still new. Mm. So the, the best person would be the, 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 the biological spouse, mm. the biological, biological parents rather, to, to talk to the kid. Yes. But then the, the, this other new person that I call a stranger to the kid mm. uh, must do all they can to, to, to draw or to create a love relationship between them and the kid yes. and because we, we cannot force the kid to love the we can't this, this new parent, we can't. You know? we can't and mm. you, you you can't do it mm. besides it's not practical mm. it, it must be within the child to feel free and to love this person mm. and accept that they are my dad in inverted commas or mm. my mom mm. but we let's first understand that to the kid this person is a stranger because mm. if i marry you with your kid. I'm not marrying your kid as well. Yes. Yes. But now, unfortunately, In the beginning, we were married. You, you gave birth to them, you, you love them unconditionally. Mm. But to me, who am a stranger to them? I think for as long as they're good to you, the new partner, you can easily love them. But once they become unruly, how oh, that element? Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying, remember, it's not automatic for them mm. to be good to you. Remember, you're mm. a stranger to, the stranger to them. Mm. And besides, you are taking away the possibility oh. of their biological yes. partner to come back to their dad or their mm. mom. Mm. So you are definitely lazy <laughs> because you're sitting at mommy's uh, chair and it means when you're sitting, our mom may not ever come back here mm. because of you. Yes. Now the kids don't understand that it's not because of the new mom yes. that has come. She's innocent. She mm. doesn't even know why this family broke. Mm. Maybe she knows, but it's not that like She has nothing to mm. do with that. Yes. But now with the kids, if this is my miss chair and daddy was is sitting over there. So it means the new wife, when she comes to sit here, then it means our mommy will never come back. True. Because it's, a no definite, it's a definite. Now, when that happens, then you become a target. True. Yeah. You mentioned that uh, it's important that as one of the ways that we can use to soothe the kids, that the biological parent must talk to them in accepting the, the new their, part, their father's or mother's new partner. Una ex, to take a take of their fab space. Like they're unsolvable, they are bitter. How do we deal with those? Because they can't intervene. They are for all. They're the ones poisoning the babies. Who oh, don't ever like that woman. Don't ever like that man. How then do we approach it? Because mommy is in love, or daddy is in love. Yeah, um, you will remember that uh, man is an image of God, and God said, "I'm a jealous God." Mm. Okay, so if God is a jealous God, and man is an image of God, so man is also a jealous thing. Mm. You know. So if now, especially with the men, mm. when they've divorced a woman, they don't want other men <laughs> to go to that divorced woman. That, that thing in them, that she's my wife, especially if there are kids involved, that's my wife. But we say, no, listen, she's not your wife. <laughs> you have divorced her. You don't want her or she doesn't want you. Yeah. So she's not your wife. Mm. Wife means the one you're staying with. Mm. You know, maybe she, she's your woman, but she's never your wife. <laughs> because after divorce, the marriage is dead. That title wife is also dead. Yes. But now, mostly the men, they are very, very jealous. They never want their ex to have a new partner. They get mad about it. But also the women, because they are also human, mm. they also would wish that men would stay alone so that their kids 
would have easy access to their dead mm. because with the new woman there's a possibility of her having her own kids yes. now obviously she won't like my kids she will like her kids and therefore if possible i must do everything i can to mess up that relationship maybe that woman would live and uh, my husband or my ex would then be free then probably there's a possibility we may reconcile oh yeah good okay well i want to bring in a new aspect because you're mm -hmm. mentioning that new couple having children of their own one of the spouses has got children from a previous marriage or a previous relationship mm -hmm. is it ever possible especially i'm speaking for uh, asking to a man is it possible for the man to balance off both all children so that they exp they have similar privileges or we must just accept that those ones in the new institution of marriage are more privileged than those ones that are in the ex relationship now remember that we're talking about something that is not inverted commas normal mm. because as far as god is concerned marriage must be for life there mustn't be this thing that mm. makes the kids victims okay mm. now it's very difficult for the men to balance mm. because you will find that when you get a new lover, mm. usually the new person would want to know your history mm. as to how did you become senior? You were married to that beautiful woman or you married to that educated woman or, you know, well, how did you, how did the marriage break? Mm. So that she can also be assured that would she withstand what caused the, the, got the other woman away, mm. you know, then the, usually the men would have spoken a lot of, sometimes very untrue <laughs> accusations about the ex, you know. Mm. And, and now this new woman feels I am the, or the new man feels yes. I am the, mm. the, the right one. So what happens is now, it's, it's because this is a very difficult thing, the, the, the new woman comes in with a perception that the ex-wife who has left, she was a bad woman. Mm -hmm. Now, according to her, even these kids must be bad, like their mom. <laughs> you know that? And now the man has got a problem on how to balance the new kids if they're there mm. with the old kids with the ex. Mm. It, it's it's going to be very difficult. Now, sometimes the, the husband would love his ex-children more. more. Mm. And then with the new one, depending on whether the, the woman came with her own kids, mm. then he's got a problem of loving these new kids or who have got their own fathers. And, and he's, he's staying with kids. him. <laughs> What? And whilst he has got his own kids, maybe we're not staying with him. Mm. And if we're some feeding these other kids, now, oh, how was it? No, I have a banner. The map, the map, or ever never to go to the land, a mere horn. I won't go so called. I won't go to the invade them. The war, oh, the one of the land, or never a mere. So no one ever for over men enough. Because we cannot victimize the children mm. because they are not part of these divorce things. Mm. That's why the government now has come with this thing uh, of child abuse. Mm. That when the kids of the ex are not loved just like the new kids in the new family, that is now abuse because mm. the kids are innocent. But what do you think makes us as spouses, new spouses, to dislike the kids? They've not done anything specific that I can point out. Yeah, but that's what I said, Uri, no. The problem is, it depends on what you want me. And what you want me. Let us ask them, Tara, hey, me need to pong, hey, me need to face, hey, me need to have that, hey, me need, me need, me need, me need, me need. So this new one comes with a negative perception of that poor woman who was divorced, mm. okay? Now, she, she, she probably hates her. Even if she doesn't know her, mm. or even if she didn't meet her, she, 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 the negativity that was created in her in her heart has created a negative perception about her. Now her kids also are now associated with the negativity that was created by the negative report that the men gave to the new to the new mm. spouse. Maybe in order to attract her to feel okay, love me, I'm yeah, a good there's guy. There's no competition. That woman, I threw her away because she's a bad person. Mm. So, but do you think that before we get into new relationships when we've got children, it's advisable for our new spouses to meet our our exes whom we've got children with? Is it important for us to introduce them formally? Can you repeat the question? 
I have a child yeah. with person B. Uh -huh. Now I'm getting married to person C. Uh -huh. Is it important for me to introduce person C and person B formally? I don't think it's necessary. Mm. Um, look, I, I've, I've already said that man is a jealous creation. Mm. Uh, anything that is jealous doesn't want any interference with, it, with the things that it loves. Mm. If a man loves you, he wouldn't want anybody close to you particularly who he thinks might create problems for the marriage or his relationship. Mm -hmm. So he wouldn't okay. like that. Right. So it's, it would be ill-advised to, to try to say, okay, let's get to person B. Let me introduce you to person A. Mm. person B. I'm now with person C. This guy would think... <laughs> mm -hmm. I, 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 I would take care of the kids without informing their, 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 their ex-father. So men would never like that. Wrong. I don't know about So women, the problem is this gender. This gender has a problem. Mm, yeah, I would, would say, that's why I said, in a divorce situation, you'll find that the man doesn't want any new hard man to go to his divorce. Even though he's the one that wants exactly. nothing to do Even with Even if he threw her away and abused her, hey, if anybody me. goes there, he feels, hey, <laughs> that's my old field, that's <laughs> my place, that's my no, property. No, you have a problem. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, no, I wouldn't say that we don't know that man. They definitely do because, as I said, remember, man is an image of God. God said, I'm a jealous wife. You should never see you with another God. So the men feel, I must never see my ex with another man. Yeah. Although they may get a new wife and they love the new wife and they want the ex to, to love the new wife, for him and with him. She but, must just not but, get a person. Yeah. Yo, I get off. <laughs> yeah, no, things are, Now, because this is a normal situation, it's mm. not a it's normal situation. It's, so, it's a natural response. Yeah, that's why it, it, it has got negative uh, responses. And, uh, you know, it creates a lot of problems, really, for the for this couple and the, unfortunately for the kids. Okay, let's say uh, I'm Mawungu. I'm getting married to person B. He doesn't have children, and then when I get married, you, we have children of our own. What do you think, is it important for me to change my child that I came with, their surname, or they must maintain their surname, or should they do a double barrel? How do we deal with that for them to not feel like an outsider in the home with the only different surname? Now, again, my woman, we're, we're dealing <laughs> with an anomaly. An anomaly situation. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, uh, in the Bible, there's no instruction concerning that. And uh, in, a, in a local culture, the child must assume the new surname. So it's difficult for me to say really uh, which is which. I think it will depend on the family and how they feel about it because the kid by then doesn't have a choice. Um, but uh, I know of situations where and you know, some women would come to me crying, hey, what's up? And then, no, oh, look, I, I, I got married into this marriage with my kid. Now my kid is grown up, he wants to take an ID book. Now he says he doesn't want to use the, the same name of where I'm married now. Mm. He wants the same name of my ex, that is his father. And the mother would say, no, but it doesn't work that way. This new man would think I'm... I'm double-crossing him. I'm, I, must be having, uh, the, I must be renewing my relationship with his father. Mm. So the, the, the mother would say, no, no, you can't do that. And the kid would say, listen, I'm going to do that. I don't like your, your, your surname because this man is your husband, but it's not my dad. I want that one. And when the mm. kid goes to that one, that one feels, no, the mother sent him to come and interfere with my, the peace of my marriage. Mm. Then there is just war. Mm. Because they, they, they all, they all, the, the, the his new, father, mm. biological father, thinks it is the mother who sent him mm. to come and destabilize my marriage. And yet it is the kid who said, no, look, I don't want the same name that you belong to. I want the same name of my father. So I must go and get his ID, uh, you know, permission to get my ID through his surname. So it's a very complicated thing. So, but do you think uh, the, the biological father, usually the problems arise because of his new spouse? Or, you know, I wouldn't say that. I think they, it is just because this is an abnormal situation. And uh, really, as humanity, we are still struggling to accommodate this thing and to see how best we can go. 
But otherwise, because it's not a really an ideal thing, that's why it goes to hassles that I don't know anybody who, who would think they've got straight answers to it. Mm. Because these are just new phenomena that are, that are happening in life and mm. I think many still grappling as to what to do. So for the kid to, mm. which surname he must say, I think it depends on the, the parents who are staying with the kid mm. and how they agree. Because True. sometimes you find maybe the new man saying, ah, no, no, you cannot be called by my surname, it's not my kid. Mm. Or the, 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 the kid himself said, no, I cannot, I don't want to say it. One kid blew, blew my mind, you know, he asked his mom, he said, mom, tell me, your surname is so-and-so, mm. and I'm called by the same surname, are you my sister? I thought <laughs> you're my mom. And because that's, mm. that's your, that's your that's parents' surname. Yes. So why are we... <laughs> Why are we sitting the same thing? And you're my mom. I don't like care. a long story, baby. And the mother came with the hands on her and said, Daddy, the kid is, the kid is has shocked me. He, he, I said, What did you He said, No, 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 no. I cannot take my ID in a book with your surname because you're not my sister. <laughs> it's, it's your parents' surname. No. So, how can I be called the, your dad is not my dad? Yeah, so, I want my dad to send me. No, but I think, um, especially from a, the older generation, I think you, your older generation does not have a lot of truthful conversations with us, your children. Because I think our generation is much more open, such that when the child is mature enough to have a conversation, we're probably going to conversate about it. You guys are the Utata core generation. We keep searching for our father searching because Utlel, you're just sitting on top of the secret. I don't know why it's a secret to give me my surname. Yeah, because during uh, that time, things like that didn't happen. Generally, it didn't out, ah, out of 100%. Uh, they were happening like in the just, corner. They were happening under the blankets. Yeah, but listen, maybe out of 100, 98% there was no problem. Maybe 2% there was a problem. Mm. Because as soon as you marry a woman, they, it was automatic that her children are your children. children. And yes. you got to love them exactly like you love your own biological children. Mm. And the, the society wouldn't accept it either that you 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 discriminate these kids because they, they are not they are innocent mm. so if you love their mom you love them too you know mm. during that generation now in in the modern gen, younger generation um there's going to be a lot of hassles going on it's not going to be easy because even if you discuss with the kid look uh, your dad left me he would say why I was naughty. And then you wouldn't tell your, <laughs> tell your kid, and so listen, I had an affair. You, know? you wouldn't say that. Yeah, you would say, well, I don't know. You would say, no, but you can't leave you without any reason. And then, you know, so as I said in the beginning, kids automatically and normally, they want mom and dad together mm. until death do them part. They, that is the normal thing. And that is, of course, the biblical thing, that the mom and dad should never divorce because unfortunately, they can get a new wife or a new husband. But kids will never get a new father or a new mother. Because in life you are given one mom, one dad. That's it. Mm. But as a woman, this marriage can break, you get into another marriage, and then it breaks, you can get into another marriage. Mm. And it, it will never be a step husband. We don't ever think of step husband. <laughs> it's a husband, full stop. Yes. But with the kids, it's always step mom, step dad. Mm. You know? Now, a step thing, it's not real. Mm. And therefore, that's why there's, there's a lot of hassles and a lot of conflicts. And sometimes you might find that the new, the, this you, has, husband and wife, you are wonderful to each other. You love each other deeply and without pretense. And you, got, you are having a wonderful relationship. But the kids are like a little stone in your shoe. Mm. When you got a new shoe, shining bright and it's expensive, you know, it costs thousands, but there's a little stone in there not as big as your toe, but a very little stone. It will make you very uncomfortable. You will not enjoy your new bright and wonderful shoe, but with that little stone that is pinching you. No, but often, you know what my problem is? I don't know, maybe I'm selfish. Imagine me as a woman prioritizing my kids over my happiness, and then they grow, and I become this lonely little grandmother alone no man because this little girls and boys were selfish and did what my new boyfriend hey how am i gonna live i don't want to live with bitterness because i was sacrificing myself for other people's happiness now listen it's a perception that you are expressing it's not reality because people don't get happy by marriage 
You know, you, you, there are many things that can make you happy and satisfied, unmarried. Um, they are, you know, in the Bible, we've got a lot of people that were single and were happy. Mm. Okay, we've got Paul, you're a woman, maybe you wouldn't understand. Now, Paul said, now guys, if you were like me, I would say, please don't get into marriage. And he said, I'm not trying to put a problem on you. I'm just trying to save you from marital problems. Mm. Okay, so he, he, it shows that he was happy single. Mm. Okay, as I said, there are challenges to the single life. Mm. But in marriage, they are bigger. Okay, True. because when you are single, you can't kill yourself necessarily. Mm. But in marriage, as we, we are seeing how men are killing women terribly, I mean, chopping them, sewing them, and shooting them, and burning them, it's terrible. That's, those are things that are happening in marriage. Mm. But outside in a single life, usually it doesn't happen. Mm. Okay, so when, when now you decide, okay, um, I don't find somebody that really fits what I want. Mm. So I, I'm making a choice that I'm going to stay single and then... I want it to be my choice, not influenced by my children who don't like my partner. I feel that is very selfish from them. I think it's very selfish from you because if now you think you must live for your own pleasure at mm. the expense of the kids you brought into the world, who is selfish here? But they're going to leave me your friends and establish their own lives. Yeah, but they may not, they, they may leave you physically, but they may never leave the fact that you are their mom. No, 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 no. Now I want to die happy. And I'm happy. And you, yeah, I'm say, I, that's why I said you got this perception that happiness no, is found in marriage. No, what there's an element in the, in the relationship setup that I'm, I'm, I'm craving for. And I have found it's just that my kids have not yet. And for example, what? What is it that you might... Look at the different phone. Come again? Look at the different phone. Look at the different phone. Yeah, okay. But with the different phone, not here. Now, we're going to have a lot of money. 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 This is just a thing. It's not part <laughs> of it, it's just around. a thing. You know? Yeah, it's, it's a terrible perception that. Lurivana, but children must be taken seriously. They are one with you as mom and dad. Mm. They are not strangers that, that invaded the house mm. or invaded your marriage. They came, the Bible says she, kids are, are created by God. Mm. So God chose you as a couple to create kids in your family, of course, with the responsibility of bringing up, bring their, up them up mm. in the way that God wants them to be brought up. And then they are supposed to be a blessing to you mm. that tomorrow at your old age when you cannot do things yourself, they must do what you were doing for them when they couldn't do things themselves when they were still babies. Mm. You took care of them, you protected them, you provided, you did everything. Mm. So when you're at old age, they are supposed to be doing the same thing to you. That is the other thing. Mm. Now, if kids would say, no, mom and mom is a, it's a, it's a bother, mom is a pattern, uh, and they throw you away, that's terrible. Mm. God will never accept. That's why he said, you don't honor mom and dad, you won't live long. Mm. I will not allow you to live long. Yeah, and then in closing, you, the in-laws, Matad, how do I deal with it as a man when you are not accepting my new spouse because she has a child? Yeah, that's another difficulty uh, of the modern time. I told you that in the, originally in the, in the beginning, when you, a woman is married with kids, it was an obligation on the side of the man mm. to take this woman, love her, fulfill her, do everything you can for her. And the kids, equally important that you, you take care of them just like your biological kids. So you find that now with the new, new parenthood, new parents, modern parents, they have a problem when you come into the marriage with your kid. They, they may accept you, mm. but they see this kid as a stranger mm. coming into their home, mm. you know. So they dislike the poor kid. Sometimes they even show it. Sometimes they even tell you where not you don't belong here. I think I do in that kind. Chief Minga Chukori, bro, we are so out of time. What are we? What can you advise uh, people that are wanting to get into relationships and they already have children? In closing, my advice is what I said in the beginning: get a good counselor mm -hmm. who is well balanced, uh, who is not influenced necessarily 
by modern trends or old trends. Mm. But, but if he's a Christian, he must be he must be based on the word. That this advice must be godly, must be based on the word, especially if you are counseling Christians as well. Mm. Yeah, but if you are counseling people of the world, you better be very careful which which mm. which advice you give. But I would suggest please don't get into marriage without counseling. Okay. Because somebody must tell you the challenges you will have with your with your in-laws, mm. the challenges you will have with your spouse's kids, mm. and the challenges your husband will have with your kids, mm. and the, 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 the in-laws with your kids. Mm. Somebody must explain this, yes. and then when you got, you are fully advised, and okay. you can make an informed decision, yes. rather than an emotional decision based on what and you call love. Right. Thank you so much. Bless you. I hope you enjoyed the show. It was my pleasure to be here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the show and you are going to gather enough information before you make your decision. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. Another advice comes here is to leave your kid with, with their grandma. That is a little I don't bit think safer. It's so sad for, for the child. Come again? Nending Abunangan is very sad for the child because they just feel like no. when they are grown up. No, you, are, you must understand. Nending mm. reality. I was brought up by my, by my grandma mm. and my granddad. Mom and dad was there, and my mom's still alive right now. So, and there was nothing wrong. I never felt like man Mabondata. No, I grew up very well in the care of my grandparents. But you can imagine, I think it's the generation in like a culture. You can imagine Nando Mariwa, Lavanavana, Mana Abu Tang. I have a good one answer to La. How much you are French La La Viva? And Nango Sosa Namakro, who are my parents. Not really. I also come around. I remember that they are Kapakun. We will organize or are we going to take care of that kid? Because the new husband must understand that you and that kid are emotionally attached. Hmm. There's no way it will, you will be separated. So it means now, Olangwana, Anagogo, it's not the responsibility of Google, oh. your finance and as well. Hmm. It's our responsibility. And that's the new husband. I must know Olangwana, Urimia Weba Takari, Bato Takara Wachwana Kotogomeri. Therefore, it is my responsibility to make Olangwana Togomeri. Namia Weba Bonori, Atikova Tukukanyana from the mother because now only the umbilical cord has been broken between the kid and the mother but emotions you mm -hmm. can't breathe them. So Marat, I, my view is that women have it easier than I think they're more vicious. No, easy but uh, I come from a different fathers. 